Hello, hello, everyone. This is Man United inside again on it. Welcome back. Celtic midfielder Matt O'Reilly is attracting a great deal of attention ahead of the January transfer window. The tabloid claims that there are at least nine clubs pursuing the Dane's services, with five Premier League teams among his potential suitors. It is believed that Newcastle scouted O'Reilly earlier this season, but there is also thought to be interest from Crystal Palace, Arsenal, Manchester United, and Liverpool. English championship leaders Leicester are keeping close tabs on the 22-year-old as well, along with the likes of Lille, Wolfsburg, and Borussia Dortmund. There is a surprisingly low asking price for O'Reilly, the Scottish Sun report that the Hoops would consider offers north of 10 meters, which seems rather low for a player of O'Reilly's age and talent. You would think that the Scottish champions would be holding out for double or even triple that figure based on the prices that other midfielders of similar ability have been sold for. Celtic will try to hold on to the player until the summer. Even though O'Reilly's services are in high demand, Brendan Rodgers' side are hoping to retain his services until the end of the season. With the playmaker having signed a new four-year contract back in September, there is certainly no pressure to sell him when the transfer window reopens. However, a lot depends on the size of the bids that Celtic receive for O'Reilly. If the interest is as high as the Scottish Sun suggests, there could be a fierce fight for the Danish under-21 international services. That could drive up the price, and it may lead to an offer being lodged that is too good to turn down. Man UTD have a six-man wish list for sporting director role, including Paolo Maldini. Manchester United have drawn up a six-man shortlist for the club's sporting director role as Sir Jim Ratcliffe plots a radical overhaul. Ratcliffe, who is closing in on a 25% stake in Man United, is expected to take guidance from Sir Alex Ferguson as he prepares a huge shakeup at Old Trafford. Man United have been in decline since Ferguson's departure, and using his expertise would be a popular move by the club's fans. The British billionaire wants to improve the club's football operation, and he is set to take advice from the Man United legend over some matters. That could include helping to hire a new sporting director with John Murtu's position, believed to be under threat. According to The Telegraph, there are six names on the shortlist for the sporting director role at Man United. Paolo Maldini is among the candidates, having had the same role at AC Milan before he was sacked in June. He was in the role for five years and led his former side to Serie A glory in 2022. Dougie Friedman, who is currently Crystal Palace's sporting director, is also liked at Man United. He's also a long-term ally of Ferguson, which could help his chances of landing the gig. Freedmen could also help the Red Devils secure the services of the next Lionel Messi. Atalanta's Lee Congerton, former Milan chief Ricky Massara, Atletico Madrid's Andrea Berta, and Jean-Claude Blanc, who's a leading figure at Ineo Sport, are also in the running ahead of Ratcliffe's imminent purchase of Man United. Congerton is head of recruitment at the Italian side and had similar roles at Celtic, Leicester City, and West Brom. Like Maldini, Massara was also at the San Siro outfit, before he was relieved of his duties in June. Berta has been at Atletico for 10 years and has previously been linked with a move to Man United. Who will Ratcliffe appoint? Watch this space. Sir Jim Ratcliffe can offer Manchester United what Cristiano Ronaldo wanted from the Glazers. A year has passed since Cristiano Ronaldo dropped a bombshell on Man United with the Piers Morgan interview that paved the way for his departure. It might not be the most familiar anniversary for Manchester United given his and their unparalleled history, but a year has passed since Cristiano Ronaldo dropped that bombshell on Old Trafford. Everyone got it during an astonishing interview with TV personality Piers Morgan, in which Ronaldo fired shots at Eric Ten Hag, Gary Neville, Ralph Rangnick, and countless others. Even the Glazer family were not safe. Now, the much maligned Americans have seldom been spared criticism throughout their ownership. However, the parting words from Ronaldo were shattering, and so much yet so little has changed since then. The owners of the club, they don't care about the club, professional sport. 
stated Ronaldo as Arsenal supporter Morgan, and fans from other Premier League rivals lapped it up. United were, seemingly, left shell-shocked. The fans are always right. They should know the truth, he continued. The players want the best for the club, and I want the best for the club. This is why I came to Manchester United. This is why I love this club. You have some things inside the club which don't help Manchester reach the top level like City, Liverpool, and even now Arsenal. It's complicated, it's difficult, it's hard. Ronaldo knew there would be no way back. His sit-down with Morgan was not so much a storm in a teacup as a fully-fledged tornado. The five-time Ballon d'Or winner carries weight with every single he word, he says, and there were plenty of crossed ones during that talk TV revelation. His finger pointing at the Glazer family was nothing new. United supporters know the deal as well as anyone and, while Ronaldo irked even those who idolize him with one or two other subjects he was pressed on, his comments on the club's owners were always going to be well received. It was an open goal, and Ronaldo never misses those. Ronaldo's second coming at Old Trafford was soon ended, and he wasted no time in opting for his next adventure. He continues to go goals galore in the barely competitive yet lucrative Saudi Arabian market, and United are still playing catch-up on treble-winning neighbors Manchester City and others at the Premier League Summit. In the 12 months since Ronaldo dropped the mic, change has been afoot at boardroom. Man UTD to battle Newcastle and West Ham for 20 Mipporas rated Bayer Leverkusen defender Jonathan Ta. Manchester United are weighing up a January move for Bayer Leverkusen's 20 Mipporas rated defender Jonathan Ta with Newcastle United interested. What happened? After losing many defenders to injuries throughout the season, Eric Ten Hag is searching for defensive reinforcements. Manchester United may face competition too, as West Ham and Newcastle United are just two of the European teams who have been attracted to the Germany international after his spectacular start to the season. Ta is valued at 20 million, 22 miles, 24 meters, according to the Sun, but considering the demand for a player in his prime, Leverkusen should definitely anticipate receiving a higher offer if they decide to let him leave. The bigger picture. Ta has been a standout player in Leverkusen's stellar start to the season, which has seen them lead the Bundesliga. Ta's loss would be incredibly disappointing for Zabi Alonso's team, who also enjoy an undefeated record in the Europa League. This season, the imposing defender has already scored four goals and missed only one game across all competitions. There are little over 18 months left on the 6'5 center backs deal, so the German team may feel pressured to cash in if major bids come in January.